Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. The last episode was quite eventful. Um, we had some story stuff and we had some um, extracurriculars that were um, quite exciting. So, yeah. So, if we ever want to make the deal with Roth, we can always come back here and make the deal with Roth. Oh, hey. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. You both know about of each course, other. I should have known the devil would come sniffing. And I'm going to try and destroy you both, so... chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? He knows how to free Orpheus. How interesting. No doubt he impressed upon you the need to do so. And what did he want in return for this knowledge? Does it matter? I said no. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down, but it certainly does matter. Yeah, he wasn't going to let that one slide. Anything that threatens our alliance, threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? That's between me and the devil. I see. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours. What a fucking prick. Access. Here's an idea. You stay out of my head and I'll stay out of yours. That is... a fair request. You feel its presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. Goddamn right, you I piece of shit. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Man, I am now just gonna come. make an enemy of everybody. We have an elder brain to destroy. I'm gonna make this game harder on myself by making an enemy of literally everyone. <laughs> I don't trust any of them. I don't. What can I say? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal everything right in front of you. All for me. You're not gonna do a goddamn thing about it either. Fuck you, Raph. Fuck you. Your bed? My bed. It's my bed now. Your wine? Mine. Thank you. Nice statue. The White Pawn, the White Bishop, and the White Knight. Interesting. He really doesn't care that we're doing this. White Pawn, you were to find a high-profile unsolved crime and confess to it, turning yourself in to Porter after arranging at Baldur's Mouth for coverage. You know which reporter to use. Your position in the FF Barracks should make it easy to identify a crime that, when resolved, will add greatly to... Porter's renown. Okay, so there's somebody named Porter. Porter is a name, right? And not just like a fancy name for a reporter. So there's a reporter named Porter who is working with Raphael. This will cancel your debt. Don't worry about the why. It's a pawn's place to be sacrificed so other pieces can win the game. <laughs> So his debt will be cancelled, but he'll be in jail for a crime he didn't commit. Rude. White Bishop, 
prepare yourself for a major speech in your temple, extolling Flame Porter for her success protecting the city and fighting crime. She is clearly a favorite of both mortals and immortals, and you can hint that fate and destiny may conspire to place her in command of Baldur's Gate. Your sermon will be printed in full in Baldur's mouth. So remember that you are speaking not just to Helm's devotees, but to every citizen of the gate. Orate, elevate, and inspire. That will cancel your debt, and I don't doubt you will end up as a key player in the new regime. Ready yourself. And the White Knight. Your task is finally at hand. As commander of the Sea Tower, you're close to all the sub-commanders of the Flaming Fist. Sound them out as to their willingness to support the possibility of Flame Porter's promotion to Marshal, and perhaps even beyond. Encourage those who are lukewarm to be prepared to rank themselves behind Porter when events elevate her in power and prominence. However, for those who would oppose her, don't push them. Just make a note of their names and positions, and they will be dealt with by other means. That will cancel your debt and doubtless line you up for greater responsibilities as well. Prepare yourself, R. It could also just be a, um, a pseudonym, like White Knight and White Pawn and whatever. Strapped Choker Leather Ensemble. Description so tight dot dot dot. We can dye it, right? I think I like the one with the choker a little bit better, but I don't like that color even a little bit. This one's too good, man. It's too damn good. Making me sweat. What's next, I wonder? What to do? Okay, Drake General die. Man, I wish you could test these. Like, I don't even know what that means. Alright, that one... I kind of like that. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Alright, when, when we get Will back in the party, <laughs> I'll see what, um... Strapped choker leather ensemble looks like on a dude. <laughs> no one back home will ever believe this. Moving in. This is a heroic fantasy in verse form told in the first person by a bold poet who challenges the devil. Clearly modeled on Raphael to an improvised poetry contest to win back the soul of his lover, the following couplet has been circled in red ink. If the line doesn't scan, the devil sneers. You forfeit your soul and end in tears. Ha, I'll keep my time and make my rhyme. With vim and snap and no, down came the claw crap. Let's see. This is a scrapbook collecting supplication notes and letters from mortals to Raphael begging for boons, help, and assistance. Margin notes call out the devil's favorites, as in this example. 
says she wants her siblings out of the way so she can take full control of the family business only so their late mother will be properly honored by its efficiency and profitability. How utterly disingenuous. One has to admire it. There's no profit for me in taking her gnarly little soul. Helping her would be sheer indulgence, but if I'm not indulging myself, why bother with any of this? <laughs> He's a piece of work. There was more. Okay, that's the one I like. I mean, it's not that this isn't as nice as this, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. That onto this outfit? I'm in, baby. Is that blood? I am a no. simple man. Some would say crass. I would say, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, another one of those outfits, just a different color. I wonder what the next move is. Yeah, I think I just like the dark one. So, there. Let's move. A map of Baldur's Gate depicting Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor and the near course of the Chianthar. Need to find a way forward. Alright, we need to go and talk to Voss. We also need to just do more exploring of this area, of this, um, brothel. <laughs> No, they're not in here anymore. Yeah. Anything of use? So you can probably take another romp with them, yeah? <laughs> ah, a little bit of underdark down um up in here. Felt right at home during our lovely night with the twins. Okay, so breaking into a brothel's room is a bad call, right? Alright, obviously we have to get Will back first. Okay, so we'll come back to some of this stuff after we have our um, break-in artist back. Who, weirdly enough, is not a Starian. Here we go. I mean, to try. New guy. Don't worry. You have the key to my Hey, if it's not red, it's mine. Um, yeah, let's talk to Valeria. We're here. For another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Drinking already, huh? Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. What is this weird little thing? 
I don't know if I love it or hate it. I think I love it. <laughs> I'm afraid so. I've, um, I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Oh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? I love the monocle, dude. He's got a monocle and a hat. He drinks. Like, I would party with this dude. Um, let's see. Who is Devella? My assistant. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Okay, interesting. Now, back to it. What have you found? She's probably better at your, at the, at your job than you are, but that's fine. Father Lorgan's murder is part of a bigger plot, a ball plot. A ball plot? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory, I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to the Ballist Resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Develler is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, you are bad at your job. Seek her out. She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list and. I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Okay, cool. This means well, that we're able to get into Baldur's Gate. What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! <laughs> he's gone. Seems like a good moment to talk. Gang. Yeah, he's, he's gone. <laughs> okay, we got a lower city pass. That's cool. Do I need to keep this ring for the murder stuff? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, that's all stuff with, that's involved with the murder. Alright, obviously I have to see this frilly thing. <laughs> you know what? It is pretty classy on her. She can make anything look good. But this? Yeah, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm a simple man. I'm a simple, simple man. Just give me my goth mommies and I am... I'm done for when it comes down to it. I'm just, I'm done for. And nice. All right, nobody here to talk to. Oh, oh there's Voss. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Nope. Do you have any way of getting to the House of Hope? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can deceive him. Interesting. No, I will find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Githcards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism. And you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Iztik, I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. 
So I find it interesting, Vlacketh, um, there's been many Vlackeths, but the one that we currently have is, has found a way to become immortal, which is why they call her the Lich Queen, right? What, what did she do? Like, have we seen lore that tells us how she became immortal? And how long has she been around? I'm sure it's in a book somewhere, and I may have actually even read it, but like, I can't remember everything, guys. Help me out. Let's see. Orpheus sensed the tadpole before, and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaeh. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. I but can handle he will that. see reason. I promise you. Okay. Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istic, even those in the Hells. You must find it. Okay. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Hey, didn't we establish that you should stay out of my shit for a minute? Yeah. I'm sorry, but we're gonna free Orpheus. We're gonna do it, and you're gonna have to deal with it. And if you don't get on board, we're gonna kill you. That's just how it's gonna be, bro. Borgus, what a name. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. He's one of the, the uh, criminal know. people. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Oh, this is such a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Sentinel Shield. Perception. Yeah, yeah, the Sentinel Shield. I forgot about that. It does give us a bonus on perception checks. Cool. Listen in. Freaking 29, baby. You rats with the guild now. Heard nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. You there! Getting up in our affairs! Sounds like an interesting business I'd like to take part. Yeah, dude. Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the Guild Hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, Scram! The chat's officially closed. Cool. I never thought you'd always even hired. Earspoon is a name, too. You want entertainment? Try the circus. Yeah, I already murdered a clown there. I mean, to try to tell you especially for you. Hi, Irenia. Hey, you're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Oh, Stalin. Another sip, and I'm like to spill over. The other anchor in for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? Um, we don't have a good idea about what's going on yet. I don't know if she's, um, one of the ladies of the night or just a serving girl. So I'm not going to bump in yet. What'd you say, doll? Have a set on my lap. Let's see what pops up. 
Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, buddy. I shall slake your first dragon. Wow. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. <laughs> She's, she's good. Order up. Another tankard for the fist. She's good. She's good. All right. Yeah. We didn't need to get involved. She she she's been through this. She knows what's up. She knows how to she knows how to win that <laughs> interaction. The nymph's got a sweet tug and a figure to match, eh? I suppose she does. <laughs> My hands are full, sweetheart. Clearly. You want a drink? Hoots is your woman. You want pleasure? See Mamzella Myra. Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. <laughs> Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oh, Oi. Doppel? Are you a Doppel? You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. Interesting. Have we met Carilla before? She looks familiar, doesn't she? I don't know. Have we? You better get used to disappointment. I'm not making any deal with him. You won't come out of this alive without him. The boss might be a devil but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. So he he very finely laid out a whole bunch of letters and they weren't read and allowed us to read them. And in all of them, he gave the person that was being sent the letter their freedom once they achieved a task. I wonder if that was a ploy by him to show that like, he's willing to be quote unquote fair with his deals. I mean, I'm not buying it, but I, I that's what I'm saying is like, I think he's trying to like sweeten us up, you know? What exactly is it you do for him? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly, mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns, and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Interesting. Then why make demands of me instead of just helping? He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. I don't believe the devil cares about the fate of the world. He just wants power. I won't pretend he's an altruist, but he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage. That's actually on true. Illithid. They make terrible clients. I can't remember where we saw it or heard it, but, um, Illithids don't technically have souls. So there's a lot of truth in that. If everybody becomes an Illithid, then the devil's truly do have nothing, so there is truth in that. I'll stop the brain without his help. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. Yeah, I've already considered that. I'd reconsider if I were you. You have the key to Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you meet somebody and you're like, that is somebody who would be fun to party with. Hoots? Hoots Hooligan? What a name, by the way. 
Hoots Hooligan. You know that Hoots can party. Your new brew sounds potent. I'll give that a try. This is a bad idea. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. Sounds like a saving throw to me. Um, if it has a permanent negative effect on us, I will reload it. Um, because I don't want that on my main character, so. I'll take my chances on the hooch. Damn. The gal knows what she wants. First one's on the house. <laughs> so, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Damn, we're gonna choke on our own tongue drinking this. I bet a barkeep in this place hears all sorts of stories. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. I can respect that. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. Interesting comment. Okay. What's the story of this place? Charest caress. The Mamzelle's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. What else you have? Have a look. Booze Remedy. While wearing this amulet, regain two to eight hit points per turn while drunk. Additionally, increase the duration of your inebriation by five rounds. And then we got Hoots Hooch, a new invention of the Charest Caress, Bartender Hoots. Like being decked in the sobriety. All set, are you? I mean, to try. Okay. Size instability? Reduce and enlarge each turn? <laughs> is it a... I wonder if it's wild magic. I wonder if each one is going to be different. That's funny. Okay. I bet you it's wild magic, so I don't think that that's going to be consistent. You don't know what's going to happen. Right. Don't know about that, chum. Could beef you up. Sharpen your tongue. First one's on the house. Get the attention you want. But... Seen sense yet? Raphael's still waiting. He can still help you get through this. Oh, there's a cat. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I Absolutely. See. What a clever creature you are. I am. I'm so it's clever. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. <laughs> Speak with animals is like a necessity in a Larian game, period. Um, let's see. Let's see, what do we want here? Eyes are two baleful jewels that strike fear into the most complacent of rats. Your paws are fit to overturn only the daintiest crystal wear. Your glorious tail can trip an unsuspecting servant with the grace of an empress. Glorious tail, yeah. Oh, you flatterer. But you are, of course, correct. My tail is quite the marvel. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. Unwashed but rabble. They do say a burden shared is a burden half. Me in real life.
So what are your thoughts on the clientele as a whole? That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. Okay, tell me more. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hell. Okay, this would Something have been her hint about Raphael. Infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Do I want to know about who's through those fancy curtains? The Drow, two of our most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. I've got so much gold. Of course they are siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. Nobody tell the cat what we did. Nobody tell the cat what we did last night. Um, okay, what's the shady pair over there whispering about, judgmental cat? Can't you <laughs> from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. Very astute of you. All right, Kira, you're doing a great job running this place. Um, you, you've done a fantastic job. Just keep it up. Oh, what a give okay. it a good It's a dwarf you crave, whip in hand. Go on, tell me I'm wrong. You're still wrong. You're still wrong. Am I? Your eyes, alas, Fion, oh. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. She's almost acting like we're having our first conversation again. Are there other options for companionship? Nisha, our lovely nymph. She's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment, a temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Did the devil give you its name? Indeed he did. Raphael. Well, he's certainly not hiding. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Never wanted the easy part. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Will we actually take it? Guess not. Yeah, she is. She's my type too. I have many types, but I love a tattooed girl. Make her a tiefling as well. I love tieflings. You can stare as much as you like. I am. Thank you. Queen Roll, the Despoiler. Mephistopheles Tiefling. Can you do like full body? There aren't tattoo options for full body in in the character creator. I don't think that's a thing, right? It's mostly just face and neck that they offer. Um, they're they're gonna fix that in in uh, mods though. You'll be able to do stuff like that with when mods get underway if there isn't one that already exists. Okay, anybody out in the deck that we want to go and talk to? Uh, I hate the... Okay. Uh, 
Okay, nobody named so far. What is going on over here? Snake oil salesman? Let them see you taking charge of your pleasurable destiny. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. Gotcha, okay. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, uh, good day to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You're good. I, I ain't judging. I ain't judging. I was just I was just with the twins. All right, with with my girl, with my girl. Are you the traitor? Fruit, vegetables. What can I do you for? If you're hungry, you know. Why is everyone acting so normal? The Absolute's armies are coming. We need to stock up. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. Yeah, anybody remember when it was so hard to get toilet paper? You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? Oh, you got some rare dyes here. A dark amethyst dye. Custard and pink rose. And a pale pink. I think all the other ones we've probably got, right? Maybe not pale orange? Let's get two of those. Oh, interesting. Die remover. I think that was actually added in an update in, in the uh, latest patch. I remember seeing it in the patch notes. So I don't think that item even existed before. Um, so you couldn't remove the dies to get things back to normal. You could just apply new dies, I think. Eh, nice addition. Do come again. Get your heart here. Fresh off the easel. Brothel. Eat more Pleasure fish. house. Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Yeah, man, we're... It's getting a little bit unstable in these, uh, highly populated areas, which is interesting, because once again, like, my GPU at max is, like, rolling between 40 and 50%. CPU is running at 34%, and memory is at 48%, so it's definitely an optimization thing. Like, my computer can handle this game with a plum, let's say. <laughs> Come back soon. Fre Okay. Slow down. Well, we obviously have to go over there. Probably go around, but okay. I guess they can all make it. <laughs> well done. Um. Okay. We actually need to get Will back, and then we need to go back to the caress and finish exploring that too. I'm listening. 
Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. Chuck, you... as you say... Um, she didn't have anything in her inventory, right? We, I don't think we did anything with her, really. Always good to talk, my friend. That's the spirit. What is your helmet doing again? Saving throws against spells. Critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty damn cool. Okay. The helmets are the thing that I seem to like not look at the most, so it's good to kind of like, you know, check up on it every once in a while. This is probably going to stay on you, but... Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Man, we haven't been in a fight in a while. This is all just roleplay, and I'm kind of loving it, if I'm being honest. The roleplay is good. This game is good. Oh my gosh, this game is so good. It's it's stupid. It's it's actually stupid how good this game is. The pride of the Um, gate. we might get in trouble going in here, so let's do it anyway. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Um, do we care to? No, we don't. We don't care to. Natural 20. <laughs> Immediately rewarded. Oh, this is part of the caress as well? Oh, there's like a bridge. Okay. Cool. Where does this go, though? Okay, well, there's nobody here, so... Everybody in. Weird little... Trash area. I don't know what that's all about. Seems simple enough. Grilled cormorant. Ten camp supplies. Wow. Let's have a look. Is that a freaking cookie? I want a cookie? But that will fit in my pack. It's not. Nah. This is just their storage area. Why would they have it trapped? For a dull moment. Um, okay. This looks like... This is suspicious. Why do you want so badly to jump from that side? Hmm. Well, it's probably nothing. Don't mind us. Up there, Dunthalan's dancing axe. The Harper safe house Jahira mentioned. Interesting. Which one? This one. Okay, cool. I don't think we would need Jahira in our party, but... Maybe we'll consider bringing Jahira in when we go there.
Yeah, this area could go for a little bit of extra optimization. It's not as clean as other parts of the game, but it's also not terrible, so, like, I'm not gonna complain. I'm sure it'll get better with a couple more updates. Um, they did say that this one wasn't really about optimizations, but the next patch would have more optimizations, so I think that they are thinking about it. The people. Let's make sure we don't have the key. I don't know why we would, but... A magic touch. Let's get going. Man, we're almost through another episode. My goodness. Is there any... Uh. Hi? I wish I could kiss you better. I mean, to try. Oh. Oh, this is the... Courtesan they were talking about. And she's here with her quote-unquote favorite client? Well, shit, you should just run away with her, girl. Be happy. Why am I invested? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna see this dialogue. Look at me. You need only think of me. Um, okay, we broke in here. Because I'm a bad person. But let's tell these this couple to fall in love. They deserve each other. Tell me. Am I beautiful? More than beautiful. Why are we here? Of the aurora stretched across the north sky. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. We should not be here. This is so personal. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin. And salvation. Another voice actor who's just eating. Whole fucking crew of people. Your parasite <gasps> stirs. Oh shit! You gaze at the nymph through the flaming fists' hungry eyes. Oh no! Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's what's wrong? She's one of the absolute. What are you? Wait, I know you. Whoever you think I am, you are mistaken. Your face. The absolute has shown. Oh, you just said the name. Jara, what's going on? Who's this woman? Oh, fuck, dude. Is she about to turn into a oh Your no head screams in agony. Yep. Change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. I was invested! And suddenly, silence. This is what I get for wanting somebody to be happy. What's happening? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, she's got 10 HP. Um... Sometimes the only way out is through. I don't tend to have a lot of, like, really good defensive, like, things to pop onto people. Do I have anything that can help her Can't stay alive? Up. How much health do you have? 65? Shit, we might just Ready be able to round. end you. Um, you're, you have no armor. Your AC should be shit. Man, 15 with nothing on, huh? Okay. Okay, what do our chances look like if we do this? 80% is pretty good. Yep, that went well. Um, yeah, let's do a branding smite. We don't use this very often, but let's do it. Time to push my luck again. You know, do I have blight on still? 
Yeah, that thing does a crazy amount of damage if you roll high enough. 72 max damage. Now, let's just do a four. 65, I wish that was better. Oh, he's gonna counter spell. Why can't I counter spell his counter spell? That should be an option. Will, you're in this fight. Oh. Damn, dude. Okay, you look like you're... Are we affected by something? We are, aren't we? What's going on right now? No, there's nothing on our... Yeah, well, I don't know why our animation is doing this. We don't have anything affecting us, as far as I can tell. Okay, I'm glad her animation didn't take her into the cloud. <laughs> that would have been bad, huh? I wonder if she gave her that ring. Quote unquote favorite client. They may have actually been in love. Shit. Um, there's no way for me to drop this cloud, is there? It's not a concentration thing. So I guess you just have to wait for it to go away. Um, oh right. Before we talk to her. That is not Disguise Self. I keep doing that. <laughs> Corpse too damaged. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I've got a long road ahead. Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like she a butterfly. She liked it? Its blood shimmers like silver. You're an interesting one. Okay. <laughs> She's like, it was, I still, I, I still would have. <laughs> <laughs> One word, yuck. We don't yuck other people's yum around here, all right? We let people live how they want to live. Um, except when we have to murder them. Um, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> that thing could have killed you. You're musing on its beauty? How could I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens, and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened, and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Bro, she's into me. Everybody's just into Vernac immediately. Immediately. The creature aroused you, didn't it? Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Um, just real quickly, is she a drow? She's got green skin and elf ears, but I... No, she's a wood elf. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, they can have, like, green skin too. Okay, okay. What did you have in mind, Shadowheart? Do you want to join? Is that is that an option? Um. Rapture. Close your eyes. And listen. Like, my entire party is in the room with me right now. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it. 
warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? Hmm. I don't know what this is about, necessarily. This is like druid sex. <laughs> I will be revered. You are more than revered. You are worshipped. An epic sung by the bards. A legend known to the scholars. A god among mortals. Interesting. When the hosts of the plains raise their voices in harmony, it is your name they sing, and your grace they seek. Your flesh shivers, your huh. heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. Interesting. Uh, what did we get there? Rapture. Affected entity has a plus 1d6 bonus to attack rolls. Ability checks and saving throws until the next long rest. Cool. A d6, too. Not even a d4. Um, a non-sexual, um, intimate encounter is what I would call that. <laughs> so that's her form of, um, assistance? I... I'm, I'm not finding the words. <laughs> if you seek rapture, find it elsewhere. I can show you but once. Can we do that for the entire party? The pride of the gate. I'm afraid I'm not taking new clients. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking ahead. She's like, I've had a day. Um, there's a there's a dead fist Yara in my bed chambers. I'm gonna have to deal with that before I take any new clients. An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. Okay, good to know. Um, that's the same underwear I have, I think. <laughs> twinsies. Underwear twinsies. Breathe deep and move. Yeah, sorry about the blood. Hey, none of this is red, which means it's mine. Might be useful. Hey, another coronation and mission pass. I wonder if we need one for each of our party members. We've got two now. A room's key. Will that get me into this room? Apparently there's some shit going on in here. How long do the effects last? It depends on the person and their virility. For you, I'd recommend two doses. He has low virility. He, she, I don't know. Two? That seems like, like a lot. Do you not wish to pleasure your fine maiden to fill her fingers, grip yours in pure ecstasy? Shh, people will hear. Good, let them see you taking charge of your pleasurable destiny. Oh, is that that? Yeah, that's this. Okay. I thought it was happening in this room. Okay. Anybody in here? Nope, nobody's in here. Ah, this is Fion's room. Okay. Did we try Speak With Dead on Fion? I don't think we did. We might want to try that. Um. 
Okay. He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something, and the others in the flop house know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him, and I can't blame them. I am too. The Shadow Weave? This book is redolent with the enticing smell of paper and ink. A cautious treatise on the power of the Shadow Weave, the author talks about the formation of the Shadow Weave as a counterpart to Mr. Weave. The Shadow version is in some ways more potent as a source of magic, but it's also unreliable and volatile. Shar, Mistress of Shadow, has a much more fickle nature than Mistra, and according to the author, this manifests uh, author this manifests as a seemingly fraught and dangerous position as vigilant, dangerous to those who tap into her font of arcane excess, that is. Okay, I read that really weird, but we got through it. Um, okay, <laughs> there's some chains. Yep, she's... She's got a method, clearly. Um, oh yeah, lots of, um... Lots of melted wax from that candle, too. I can't imagine what that would be used for. Anyways, um... We're over time, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, TurkeyFoot27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.